so hi students good evening so this is uh, section 2 of the supplementary the three equations which was written by leo tolstoy so in first section we have seen uh, that the king had three questions in his mind isn't it so what were the questions so what is the first question uh, which is the right time for every action what is the second question who was who are the most necessary people and the last question which is the most important thing to do so these are all the three questions he had in his mind he wanted to know the answer for these questions so that he announced publicly uh, so many learned men came and they answered differently so the king was not satisfied with that answers isn't it so that he wanted to consult a hermit who was in the forest uh, he normally uh, won't accept a king uh, he received only the normal people so that he disguised uh, disguised na nadana maru veshathala porad so he disguised himself as a common man and he visited that hermit's house isn't it so he asked the same questions to that hermit but he did not get the answer for the question so that's the end of the section 1 so now we are going to see the section 2 of this story so at the end of the section 1 we have seen that uh, the hermit uh, saw uh, someone uh, coming from the wood isn't it so see the second uh, second section the king turned round and saw a bearded man come running out of the wood so the king turned and then he saw a bearded man so bearded man nanadana daadi vacha or aalu so or daadi vacha aalu varar so engan varar forest vaya varar the man held his hands pressed against his stomach and bleeding was flowing from under them so that man was bleeding and uh, blood was flowing from under them when he reached the king he fell fainting on the ground moaning feebly so when he reached that uh, hermit's place he fell fainting so fainting nanadha mayakam potu vendrarara and he was moaning so moaning nanadha monangirudhu so monangikite de valila monanguvaangala adha mari valila monangikite vandha he got faint the king and the hermit unfastened the man's cloth there was a large wound in his stomach the king washed it as best as he could and bandaged it with his handkerchief and with a towel the hermit had so what happened the king and the hermit unfastened so unfastened na edana remove pandrathu edha remove pandranga and the man had a clothes remove panitta and uh, the king washed it uh, washed the wound washed the wound as best as he could but and also he bandaged that place but the flow blood flow did not stop and the king again and again removed the bandaged soaked with the warm blood and washed and rebandaged the wound wound when at last the blood ceased flowing the man revived and asked for something to drink so uh, again and again he washed that area and he bandaged uh, so um, after some time uh, that uh, blood flowing was stopped and he revived so revived na nadana telir dan maikatlandi telinji he asked for something to drink the king brought fresh water and gave it to him meanwhile the sun had set and it had become cool so the king with the hermit's help carried the wounded man into the hut and laid him on the bed lying on the bed the man closed his eyes and was quiet but the king was so tired from his work and from his work he had done that he crouched down on the threshold and also fell asleep so sadly that he slept all through the short summer night so what happened he asked for something to drink isn't it so he gave him some fresh water and in the meanwhile the sun had set so it was a pleasant evening uh, so the hermit and the king uh, carried the wounded man into the bed uh, into the bed and make him to made him to lay down so lay down and padike vekkiradam 
lying on the bed the man closed his eyes and he uh, started to sleep and also the king was so tired because from morning he had continuous work isn't it so that uh, the king also very tired so uh, he crouched crouched in and then he went to the top and he bent down and he crouched down on the threshold the threshold and then he was able to get the starting point so he was able to get the point he crouched down on the ground early and he also fell asleep when he awake in the morning it was long before he could remember where he was and who was the strange bad bearded man lying on the bed and gazing intently at him with a shining eyes so he woke up in the morning and uh, he took time to realize where he was Uh, so that uh, uh, he was in the confusion state at that time uh, he saw a bearded man uh, who was looking at him forgive me said the bearded man in a weak voice when he saw the king was awake and was looking at him so forgive me so forgive me nadu nen manichirunga so he started to talk so who started to talk that bearded bearded man uh, started to talk with the king I do not know you and having nothing to forg- uh, forgive you for said the king actually i don't know who you are but i don't know why you are asking for forgiveness said the king you do not know me but i know you i am that enemy of your who swore to revenge him uh, revenge himself on you because you executed his brother and seized his property so what happened uh, you don't know me but uh, i know you you are my enemy you are my uh, you are my enemy uh, because uh, you executed my brother so executed my brother and seized my property and seized his property his property na yarna avanga brother oda property vande ninga ungalke theriyama avaru ninga konna ninga vandana padikinga oda property ninga vande seize panirkinga i knew you had gone alone to see the hermit and resolved to kill you on your way back but the day passed on you did not return so i came out from the ambush to find you so i thought uh, you came here alone to meet the hermit uh, so that i have planned to kill you i have planned to uh, kill you but you did not return so i uh, i waited there i waited there uh, in the wood uh, to your return but you did not return so i came out uh, from the and wish to find you and came upon your bodyguards and they recognized me and wounded me so uh, i came out of the ambush so ambush na nadana the forest area na veli varumbodu your bodyguards recognized me and they started to uh, beat i escaped from them but should have bled to death had you not dressed my wound i wished to kill you and you saved my life now if i live and i wished it i will serve you as your most faithful slave and will bid my sons do the same forgive me so i came here to kill you but you saved god my life and you gave me a proper treatment for my wound so i wish i want to be as your uh, servant and also uh, the same my sons also do the same so forgive me the king was very glad to have made peace with his enemy so easily and to have gained him for a friend and he not only forgave him but said that he would send his servants and his own physician to attend him and promise to restore his property Uh, the king was very much happy to see uh, that uh, his enemy now became friends and and also uh, he have gained him for a friend and he not only forgave him but said he would say uh, he would send uh, the servants and his own physician to attend him so uh, he, uh, he would appointed a physician doctor to attend him and uh, to make your 
having taken leave of the wounded man and the king went out in the porch and looked around for the hermit before going away he wished once more to beg an answer to the questions he had put the hermit was outside on his knees sowing seeds in the beds that he had been dug the day before the king approached him and said for the last time i pray you to answer my questions wise man so the wounded man left that place and now uh, he asked the king asked the same question to the hermit i wanted to know the answer for my question uh, he was staying outside and he was sowing the seeds in that place where uh, he was uh, digging the ground yesterday isn't it so he approached the king approached the hermit and asked the same question you have already been answered so he said uh, you have already got your answer said the hermit still crouching on his thin legs and looking up the king who stood before him how answered what do you mean asked the king how answered i did not get any answer for that question how answered he was very much confused do you know uh, do you not see replied the hermit if you had not pitied my weakness yesterday and had not dug these buds for me uh, but had gone your way that man would have attacked you and you would have repented of not having stayed with me so the most important time was when you were digging the bed and i was the most important man and to do me good was your most important business so yesterday what happened you came here to meet me and you asked me question but it did not but i did not give you any answer but what you did you worked instead of me and uh, if you uh, if you are not to work instead of me you may uh you may on your way at the time that uh, person that to be bearded person may uh, attack you so isn't it so which is the most uh, most important uh, time the time you are digging the bed so the time you are digging the bed is the most important time yesterday so yesterday that is the that was the most important time and then who is the most important man me so the hermit hermit so myself so hermit was the most important man and the last one which is the most important thing to do uh, so doing good so doing good so namba yaar kuda irukkomo and the nerth la avangalukku nalladhu panna that is the most important thing to do afterwards uh, when that man ran to us the most important time was when you were attending to him for if you had not bound up his wound he would have died without having made peace with you so next so first that happened and next which is the most important time uh, when he attended the wounded man so if you not attended man uh, he may not uh, he may die and uh, he may not made peace with you isn't it so that is the most important time so he was most important man so uh, now who was the most important man that wounded man that bearded man and what you did for him was the most important business so what you did so being a king so or king ga irundalo na king idala panna matta nenaikama at that time uh, you did something good for that uh, bearded man wounded man isn't it so that is the most important uh, business you did so so these are all the so these are all the um, thing uh, you uh, you got remember then there is only one time that is important now so which is the most important uh, time now so what is happening now so ipo enna nadakudho ipo enna nadakudho adha vandu most important time so and the time la ninga yaar kuda irkinga avangalukku ninga enna pandreenga endradha vandu most important thing to do it is the most important time because it is the only time when you have any power the most important necessary people is the one with whom you are so ipo irka nerathila ninga yaar kuda irkinga so with whom you are that is the most necessary 
person and what you are doing to that person what good you are doing to that person that is the most important uh, thing isn't it so for no man knows whether he will ever have dealing with anyone else and the most important affair is to do the good person sorry person good because for that purpose alone was man sent to his life so this is the life so ipa irka life la vande namba ipa present time la namba yaar kuda irukomo so avangalukku what good you are doing so that is the most important thing so what was the answer so what is the answer which was given by the hermit so which is the uh, best time now and who are the most necessary people uh, to whom you are with you now so ni yaar kuda irkingalo avanga da vandu most important uh, person and which is the most important thing doing good to that person so ni yaar kuda irkingalo avangalukku ni nalladhu pandradha vandu the most important thing to do so these are all the answers he got answers now and he felt very happy and that's the end of the story i hope it's very useful for you thank you students bye